What's going on everybody? Today we are back in the shop doing some composite work. Now we just entered the off season, so race videos are going to be, uh, you know, kind of on hold for the time being. We will be getting into some car videos, um, but today what we're going to do is a multi-part infusion. So what we're going to do is infuse all of these parts in one shot. So these are uprights for a Mustang wing, Corvette wing, and then obviously our wing end plates. So. Being a small shop, you know, we need to, you know, be efficient with our time. So this is the first time I'm doing this exact layout with all these parts. Um, so I'm going to time lapse it. Should give us a pretty cool video. Um, I'll probably learn something. But you can see our setup. We have our infusion buckets here. Something, this is something I never really seen anybody do. So feel free to use this if you want. But we put the buckets on one of these like you know closet hanger racks and come off of it we extended this one to be able to hold them these are just old um you know epoxy gallons that we flip over put a little barb on it and then you know there it goes into the part so what what's kind of cool about this is when you use a bucket and you kind of have to come over the top with the um you know the infusion line Sometimes it'll kind of come out of the epoxy and suck in air or the bucket might tip or, you know, they're just kind of a little bit of a pain. Where this setup, all you gotta do is dump it in and obviously it just goes in the bottom. You don't gotta worry about it. So I can kind of get more parts going in one shot than if I had to sit there and watch the buckets and everything. So um, I think that's about it. You can see we have, so we got three inlet lines for each one. We got three vacuum lines. We have plenty of resin break. So resin break is when, you know, we have our flow net or infusion mesh, whatever you want to call it. You can see we still got a little bit of carbon and the peel ply runs all the way up. So air can make it through. So what you'll see in the time lapse is it'll go really quick in the beginning. It'll get to the edge of the infusion mesh, slow up some when it hits the carbon and then really slow up when it hits the peel ply or the the resin break that one we have way up in the corner just in case it kind of you know closes off that corner it'll still finish up there um so uh yeah i think i think that's about it you know let's uh let's jump into the time lapse and kind of see how this goes oh one one quick note that i just thought of you can see how the infusion buckets are are pretty low if they were higher or if you came up like over the top, you want to be really careful when this is higher than the inlet. The, the reason you want to be careful is the gravity could push the epoxy through the inlet line and you'll get an effect of what's called ballooning. So the epoxy will actually fill into the bag faster than the vacuum can suck it out and you end up with literally like a balloon of epoxy in the bag so that's obviously not good because you want the vacuum pressure to really you know compress and consolidate those layers so using this setup definitely you want to be a little bit careful with it um, try and get it lower than the inlet um, but otherwise that's about it the rest of it is just standard infusion techniques um, I did do a video it was a while ago um, of how I set up my infusions. I'll put a tag of it up here if you want to go back and watch that. It's pretty old, so uh, it's a little bit, I don't know, boring, I guess. But um, yeah, that, that video will go over how we set up our infusions. Um, this is the same thing, we're just doing multiple parts. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the infusion.
Alright guys, so I just pinched off all the lines to stop the infusion. You can see we're, we're past our core material. We got a little bit of a ways to go on this one. Tiny bit here, a little bit up there. So what's going to happen now is with the vacuum pressure still on it, when the oven comes up to temperature, epoxy thins out a little bit. And you got to remember that inside of the infusion lines, this little bit, and just the fabric when you infuse what uh, when you infuse um parts like this especially thick parts they almost like relax a little bit so a little bit of epoxy volume is in each of these parts so when you pinch off the line that vacuum pressure will still kind of squeeze and consolidate those layers and the epoxy will make it all the way up so so we're going to stop it here and when we open up the oven you'll see that it made it the whole way um, and I think that's about it. Um, we'll check the infusion lines to make sure they compress so that way you know you got real good uh, layer compaction or, or consolidation and I think that's about it for this one. Uh, like I said this is my first time doing an infusion this large with this many parts um, it seems to have worked well so far. The downside is if there was like a leak or I messed something up, you're messing up a lot of parts as well. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna close the oven up. Uh, we're gonna bake this um, at about 130, 135 degrees for about three hours. I went a little bit slower on the mix ratio on this because again, it was a pretty large infusion. I just wanted to make sure I had plenty of time. I mixed up a little bit of tiny extra, but you know, no big deal. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the epoxy, the mix ratio that I use. So if you're doing one, look at your, um, you know, material sheet or whatever. It'll tell you the range of, you know, temperature and time and everything. Every epoxy is a little bit different. Um, so yeah, so let's close this up and then we'll see what it looks like when we open it up. All right, so it's been a couple hours. We're gonna open up the oven and see what we got. All right, so like I mentioned, the epoxy made it all the way up to the vacuum tubes. Well, not quite to that one. Um, definitely that one, because it was a much shorter distance. Everything looks good. We can see that the might be a little hard to see in the camera but this hose this infusion line got sucked flat so we know we got good compression of the laminate so yeah super happy with this um, able being able to get this many parts run through the oven through one cycle is uh, you know pretty good so if you want to see how we turn these two on the left into uprights <clears throat> I'll put a tag up here of uh, doing the uprights for my car earlier this year. Uh, the end plates over there, they just get a quick trim and the hole is drilled to go onto our wings, which are already you know down the production line. So that's about it for this one. Hopefully you guys kind of learned something. I'm sure there's gonna be some questions, so go ahead and put them in the comments below. Um, if you like this kind of content, the composite stuff, uh, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one.